Welcome to The Cooking Show, a cooking show in the time of corona. We're here at my apartment in Brooklyn because we can't go into the office. I'm here with Ian. If we could show Ian, we would show you. Take a photo of it's, Yeah, <laughs> it's like take a photo of it. It is pretty good, huh? This is life now. By the time this thing airs, you'll probably be stuck in your apartment for the last month and you'll be like, man, you know what I wish I could eat right now? is some Taco Bell. Guess what? You can make Taco Bell at home now with this simple recipe. We're gonna make Crunchwrap Supremes. A Crunchwrap Supreme is a tortilla with beef, queso on top of it, a tostada in between, that's where the crunch part comes in, sour cream, lettuce, tomato, and cheese. And then it gets like folded up in a nice little package. If you're stuck at home and you're craving Taco Bell, this is what you wanna make. This is funny, I wonder, because I feel like my neighbors, they're gonna be like, what is that bitch doing in her apartment? <laughs> Fine. This is a little spice blend I made. There's cayenne, there's paprika, there's ground cumin, onion powder, garlic salt, ground coriander. But we're gonna take this and mix it with about one pound of ground beef. I'm gonna just marinate it. And you don't wanna like overwork it. Just massaging it in there. Okay, let me wash my hands. What song do we sing while we wash our hands? Jingle bells, jingle bells. That's the only song we can sing. The RNC won't get mad at us for I don't even have any soap on my hands. Oh, what food is too high and the one where so thin like, hey. Okay, so we're gonna make a queso right now, nacho cheese. We're using Velveeta. Look at this, cubes of Velveeta. Aren't they adorable? We love Velveeta. It was invented in New York, so the rest of the world, you're welcome. It melts really well. It won't separate like a cheddar would for this. We're also gonna use Oaxacan cheese. It's from Mexico, from Oaxaca. And it's kind of like melty and I would compare it to like mozzarella. Actually, I've got some here as snacking cheese. Um, oh. <laughs> anyways, I'm gonna put it in a double boiler over here. Equal parts Velveeta to Oaxacan cheese. We're gonna add a little bit of milk. I'm gonna add like a third of a cup. If I need to add more, I can. This is like the best queso recipe. You can use it for anything. Look, it's already melting away. More snack and cheese. Mmm, it's so good. Okay, get our other <laughs> ingredients ready. You only really need like one to two tomatoes and I'm using like a half of a beef steak. I have nothing in my fridge but cheese, essentially. Like, come here for a second. Let's look at how many kinds of cheese we have. Oaxacan. Cheddar, Monterey Jack, two more things of cheddar, Gruyere, provolone sliced and cheddar sliced, more Oaxacan cheese, cream cheese, moldy Jarlsberg, which I'm not gonna get rid of yet because it's fine. More Gruyere, mozzarella, <laughs> burrata, <laughs> more cream cheese. I'm never gonna run out of cheese. I'm good to go. There might even be more cheese in there, but. Who's to say? That is pretty incredible, right? That's pretty good. Gonna prep all of our ingredients. And now, gonna shred a combination of cheddar and Monterey Jack cheese. You're gonna have, like I said, the queso, and then you're also gonna have this. This melty cheese. So much cheese. We're gonna heat up a little bit of oil in here. You can already smell all the things inside of it. This is gonna be a good, one, good shot on the wide. I hope they do these shots with you like sitting up there. Wait, so growing up for me, my parents didn't like Mexican food. They don't really like ground cumin. They don't like cilantro a lot. So like tacos for me, we're going to Sizzler. My sister and I were like, oh, we're making taco salad and we would get chips and then put everything on top of it. And that was, oh, it smells so good. That was my first experience or my experience growing up with tacos. Now it's like, I've, I've been in Mexico, you know? <laughs> I know what a real taco is. All right, I'm gonna add a little bit of cornstarch and I'm adding water right into it. It's gonna dissolve the cornstarch into that. This is called making a slurry. This is gonna help thicken this up. And I'm gonna let it just like kind of cook out a little bit too. So like, I think that marinating your beef, you don't have to do that. It's like you would add the spices in like right now or whatever, but it's adding like one more layer of like extra flavor to it. You know, it's gonna taste a little bit better. All right, that's basically done. Let me see this. Like, it's crazy how this is such a like, like this is crazy. <laughs> I'm gonna add a pickled jalapeno to this too. Totally don't have to do it, but pickled jalapenos are so good. The big takeaway from this recipe is this queso recipe you can use, delicious. It's gonna taste really good, better with the pickled jalapeno. And then you're making your own spice blend for taco meat. So what's not to love about that? You can survive the apocalypse with Taco Bell still. All right, this is gonna go right in here. Just mix it on in there. This is perfect now. Ooh, ooh. 
the small things in life that give you pleasure now. That is good. Okay, we're ready to assemble. Oh, should we do a little Sicily? Sicily? Times are trying, but you can still Sicily. Sicily. Because what goes better with Taco Bell than beer, really, at the end of the day. Now, this is where things don't really get tricky, they get nothing, it's just easy. <laughs> it's not, it's, this is like, this is nothing the hard part. <laughs> Basically, we got tostadas, and you've got tortillas, and we're gonna stack them as best we can, and we're gonna take this, and we're gonna cut a hole in these, okay? You have this. This is literally, I made a breakfast sandwich out of these scraps the other day, which was not easy, but you can do it. You can make chips out of them, cut them up and fry them. Don't throw these away, obviously, do not. This is food, it's good. We're gonna assemble. Let me grab my other tortillas. I guess you could, because I also have some in there. I have some round ones. <laughs> Wait, that's so funny, I didn't think about that. I could just use these. Son of a bitch, why didn't I? I have so many. <laughs> Let's see which one comes up better. God damn it, I hate you. <laughs> okay, Sicily, I actually need a drink now. Mm. We're gonna assemble. All of this stuff will make about four crunch wraps, okay? So we're gonna do half a cup into the bottom of this. Then I'm gonna take some queso and we're just gonna drizzle queso over the top. Then we're gonna go with our tostada. Actually, I like kind of using this because I know that it's around the same size as the tostada instead of that, otherwise you'll have too much. All right, that's why we're doing it. That's why I knew there was a reason. On top of that, we're gonna do some sour cream. Just gonna lay it down thick. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> some lettuce. We're gonna do some tomato. Spread it out into a nice little even layer. We're gonna do a little bit more of the shredded cheese here. So just layers of cheese. Then we're gonna do that little guy. I'm gonna smush it down a little bit. And now, I'm gonna heat up my pan. And so this, once I make the folds on this, I can put it directly to the pan. Keep a little oil in that. Fold one part up. And see how this just kind of automatically wants to fold like that. Then we're gonna go like that again. I'm gonna fold it there. We're gonna fold it there. And remember, you're kind of keeping it all held together with your other hand. Fold it there. And then, just like that. So then, you're gonna wanna cook this seam side down. Now we'll let it cook, let it get nice and brown. Sicily. Ooh, okay, ready? I'm gonna flip it. Ooh. Yeah, I got golden fast. When you cook it seam side down, it seals everything together. Okay, ready? Nice and crunchy. Crunch wrap. Look at that. You've got your beef, your nacho cheese, your tostada in the middle, so crunchiness, sour cream, lettuce, tomato, and your other cheese. It's so good. I'm gonna cut another little piece here. It's just like gooey and delicious. This is everything you want during coronavirus. And just life in general, because we'll get through this. This will all end. While we're getting through this, you might as well cook some fun stuff at home. It's gonna be good. Mmm, it's so good. If this is what Taco Bell actually tasted like all the time, sign me up. It's got spiciness, it's like crunchy in the middle still. Sicily, Sicily, Sicily. It's delicious. Make it at home, have fun. For the recipe, click the link below, hang in there. It's gonna get better, everybody. So we're cooking off the other crunch wraps with the larger tortilla, not the cutout tortilla. And this is what happened. It kind of unravels and doesn't stay together as well, so. In your face.